Hi! Clips Recap here. Today, I'm going to explain a 2011 mystery action drama film titled The Hunter. Spoilers ahead. Kindly readjust and enjoy your stay. Thank you. Mercenary Martin David is hired by a military biotech company called Red Leaf to go to Tasmania and gather samples of a supposedly extinct marsupial, the Tasmanian Devil. With further instructions to kill all remaining tigers to ensure no competing organization will get their DNA. They call him to a meeting and gives him the needed equipments for the job also telling him that he's on the mission with someone else as the mission is very important and there's no room for mistake. But he tells them he doesn't need any partner. He goes home and goes through the instructions about the mission. Posing as a university biologist, Martin goes to lodge in the home of the Armstrong's family he knocks and opens the door and sees Lucy sleeping. He's interrupted by her children Katie and Jamie, who tells him not to wake her up. He introduces his self to the children, they then take him to the room assigned to him by their mom. He checks for water and electricity, but couldn't find any, and packs his luggages to go in search of another apartment while the children looked at him through the windows. He goes to a bar and asks the bar attendant if he knew about any vacant room and he's told there's no vacant rooms even if he doubles the amount paid. He goes outside and makes a phone call to Red Leaf and tells them that communication is gonna be a problem due to the lack of electricity. He goes back to the Armstrong's house and cleans it up. At dawn he gives Katie his coordinates to give to her mom when she wakes up while she gives him a photo of her dad Jera, who also went in search of Tasmanian devils. While still talking to her, Jack comes to the house and the children runs to go meet him. He exchanged pleasantries with Martin and he offers to be Martin's guide. Martin follows him in his car, as Jack leads him to the entrance of the Tasmanian mountains. While walking Martin asks Jack about Jerry, and he tells him that Jerry has been missing since the previous summer, and speculation surrounds his disappearance, particularly with regards to a long-standing conflict between the local loggers who are in desperate need of jobs and the Greenies, a group of environmentalists who have set up roadblocks to the forest to prevent its deforestation. They get to a point and he thanks Jack for bringing him there and says he'll continue alone from this point. He goes in alone and hunts games to use as a bait to catch a Tasmanian tiger. Martin normally stays in the mountains for 12 days at a time, setting up various steel traps and makeshift snares, while waiting patiently to see if a tiger will surface. He goes to drink water from a nearby stream and hears gunshots and immediately goes to where his car is parked and finds it vandalized by the loggers who are in need of a job. He cleans his car up and then goes home. At night, he eats dinner with the kids and asks them about their dad, who they said also went in search of a Tasmanian devil. Katie tells him that her dad saw one last summer. He asks who else knows about it, and she refers him to her brother who is mute. At dawn he goes to buy petrol and is confronted by one of the locals who tells him not to use any traps on their mountains. He goes home and tries to fix their generator and is helped out by Jamie, who illustrates how to switch the generator onto him. They run back to the house and began dancing with the kids. Lucy suddenly wakes up and goes to join them and hugs Martin from the back thinking it was Jerry. She is then taken inside by her children. She goes back to sleep and Martin examines her medications that were brought to her by Jack. He tells the children not to give her the medications anymore. Martin confiscates Lucy's medication and bathes her while she is unconscious after realizing the detrimental effects of her dependency. He tells Katie to give her lots of tea and water and also to let her rest. On his way to the mountain the next day, he meets Jamie who hands him a drawing of a tiger and goes away. He meets the environmentalists who reluctantly let him go into the mountains. When he got to the mountain, he finds his traps scattered by unknown people. Later on he stares at the picture Katie gave him and at morning sets new traps at different points. He sees a camera set by an unknown person and takes its storage device and goes home. On getting home, he slots the device into his laptop and couldn't find anything reasonable in it. Martin goes to Lucy's room and couldn't find her. He takes his bath with the children and Lucy returns home and meets the children in the bathtub. At dawn Jamie gives him another clue as the tiger's whereabouts, a drawing of the tiger near trees and small bodies of water, and goes away to eat his breakfast. He goes to his room and brings out his map, and from the drawing he's able to deduce the tiger's location on his map. 
Martin goes to the location the next day and sets traps at different points. He comes across an animal that was just killed and sees another animal running off and chases it. He eventually misses his step and falls down the entrance of a cave and faints. After some time he wakes up wounded and sees the cave and takes pictures of it and goes home. At night he shows Jamie pictures he took from his trip and the cave as well. They go to feast with the other people outside and are attacked by the locals who came to the venue with guns and the crowd disperses. He goes back to the cave the next day and set a trap at the entrance and then goes to check his other traps. He stumbles across Jarrah's skeletal remains and discovers that he had been shot through the head. Martin gives him a proper burial and goes home but does not reveal his findings to the Armstrong family. At night, he asks Lucy if Jerry was working for Red Leaf, and she tells him that Red Leaf had initially contracted Jerry to locate the tiger, a pursuit he eventually abandoned in favor of taking up an environmental cause to protect wildlife, and that Red Leaf wanted to find the tiger because they believed that it had a paralyzing venom in its bite. At dawn while preparing to go on a picnic with the kids, he receives a call from his superiors who tells him to focus more on the job or be replaced by someone else. He tells them that he's found a cave and has a lead on the tiger's location. He goes back to the mountain abandoning their picnic plans. While hiking to check his traps, Martin is ambushed by a rival Red Leaf operative sent to replace him. The man binds Martin's hands and instructs him to lead him to the tiger's cave and picks Martin's riffle. But Martin instead leads him past one of his steel traps. The operative steps on the trap, and its metal teeth bind his leg. The operative drops both rifles. Martin frees his hands, picks up one of the rifles, and kills the operative just as the operative frees himself from the trap and lunges for the other rifle. Martin searched the body for any valuable possession and finds a part of his map he gave to Lucy containing his coordinates. Martin quickly goes home and finds the house burnt down. He then goes to Jack's house and confronts him while Jack points a riffle at him. He learns that Lucy and Katie had perished in the fire that Jack claims broke out by accident but Jamie survived and was taken by the authorities. Martin sets out into the mountains once more to find the Tasmanian tiger after days of patiently waiting at the entrance of the cave and put an end to Red Leaf's pursuit. He finally finds the Tasmanian tiger and reluctantly shoots it, then proceeds to cremate it in order to remove all traces of its existence. Martin returns to town and calls Red Leaf, informing them that what they are looking for is gone forever. He then goes to a school where Jamie sits alone on a bench. When Jamie sees Martin, he runs excitedly toward him and the two embrace. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post on notification to watch more of our interesting videos. Thank you.